Hey guys, and welcome to the very last video in this tutorial series on how to create a realistic alley scene in Blender. And in this part, we'll just uh, go over a little bit of compositing to add a little bit of juice to this image, and we should finish this right off. So the last um, time in the last video, we were left with a render, um, pretty much a final render of the trash can, the plywood, and the background. And we just finished adding particles to the ground for dirt. And now we're going to add some finishing touches using the compositor. So if you haven't done so already, uh, render out an image by pressing F12. And then press um, Control, left arrow, to jump right into the compositor. All right, then uh, make sure the compositing nodes are um, selected right here. And click Use Nodes and Auto Render. And now what I'm going to do is go to my 3D view and change it to um, the new UV UV image editor and click on the little image icon right next to here and type in render result and here is the image we just rendered. I'm going to drag this up a little bit to give me a little more room here. Drag this over. Okay. Now up in here we can see we have our render layer and compositor uh, compositing node already added in. And so whenever we make changes um, in between the render layer and the compositor node, um, we'll be able to see the changes down uh, here, rendered out. So the first thing I'm going to do now is um, press Shift A and add a color and RGB curve. And stick it real close to there and plug in the um, output from the RGB curve into the input of our compositing node. And now uh, this will allow us to adjust the brightness and contrast. So I'm just going to make this image a little bit brighter because it's looking a little bit dull right now. So click on the curve and just move it up a little bit. Let's make this nice curve. And as you can see, immediately it renders down here, uh, makes the image brighter. So for example, we put it real high, really bright. Down here is really dark. So just a little bit up in here in this square corner and it'll give us a little bit brighter image. All right, so the next thing I'm going to add is a bit of color correction. So Shift A, color, um, color balance, drag it up, connect it into our compositing node again. And OK, so I'm going to change, um, first of all, the gamma to a little more blue to enhance our um, sky reflection. So if you turn it really, really blue, you can see the effect here. It just turns, yeah, the gamma is basically all blue. You only want a little bit blue to just bring out our sky reflection a little bit more. And also I'm going to turn again, which is the brighter parts, I believe, um, to more golden color. As you can see it makes more of a sunlight color. If you put it really golden, you can see the light in the scene is all yellow. And so we only want a little bit of that. Say somewhere right in there. A nice golden color. And also I'm going to turn to lift also a very slightly blue. Now this one you got to be careful. You don't want to play around with it too much because it easily, as you can see, even if we just put it up in here, it already completely washes out. The, all the lows will turn all blue and our shadows will be all blue. So we only want that little very, very slightly blue. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to add um, enhance our bright parts of our image a little bit. I'm basically going to make the brighter parts um, have a little bit of glow. So make the brighter parts well, brighter, I guess, and I'm going to do that by first left clicking on uh, our color balance and press shift A again. And this time go down to um, filter glare and plug it in over here and change it from um, streaks to fog glow leave it on medium quality and bump the size up to 9 which will make it um, the glow a little bit larger and now you can see the threshold is what you need to adjust here and it says the glare filter will only be applied to pixels brighter than this value so obviously if you put it very high um, it's not going to apply to anything because um, none of the pixels in the image would be bright enough to have the glow applied to it so we're going to find um, a value that, apply, that will allow the glow to be applied to um, just the brighter parts of the image so I'm going to change it down to Point four, and in order to see um, the effect that um, this had on the image, um, you can adjust the mix value. 
Um, so you see zero is 50-50, which is what we want. So if we put, on, put it to one, it'll show only the fog glow. And as you can see, it's kind of adding it to, unfortunately, well, actually, no, that's what we want, duh, because the, uh, the piece of plywood is more in the sun. Um, you can see it's adding it down here, around the trash can where it's glowing, and a little bit to the plywood. Um, so I put the threshold down some more. You can see it starts adding it to everything. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at 0.4. And we put the, thresh, the mix back down to 0. I don't know, you can't really um, see it that much. Uh, right now, but if you plug it straight into the compositor, you can s the uh, color balance. It's still into here. I'll plug this back into here. Wow. Okay, let's try to put the threshold. I don't know why it's not working. Now you can see it happening here. When I put it, it is working. It's just not very uh, noticeable. So I think uh, actually point, point 0.35 is just good enough. Just to add a little, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah, you can see now around the trash can there's sort of a bit of glow. And you can tell where it's brighter. Um, it's sort of like a glare, glaring effect. Which is obviously because <laughs> the, that is a glare node. Um, okay, so now um, for the final thing I'm just going to add a vignette. Which just add a little extra touch to our image as a whole. So the first thing we need to do is add um, a distort, a lens distortion node. I don't know why I put it all the way down there. And I'm going to have plug it into here. And I'm going to turn the distortion all the way up to 1. And right away, wow, okay. <laughs> Next thing we do is go ahead and add a math node. Plug in the top value and that value into the image and set it, set it to um, greater than. Whoops. And put this to zero. And now we need to add um, a blur note. So let's see. Let me, uh, filter blur should be in there. There we go. What? Okay. It's going to be screwed up. I had to pause the recording because somebody was asking me to do something. <laughs> okay. And where were we? Yeah. Okay. So we need to add, um, change this to fast Gaussian and check relative so we can use percentages instead. And it's not, you need to make sure it's plugged into the image um, socket there. And change this to 20%. That to 20%. And as you can see, this is the effect that's going to be, um, have an image, which is just exactly what the vignette is. It's a, sort of like a darkening of the corners of the image. And now finally, of course, we need to combine it all by adding a uh, mixed node. Plug that into here. Uh, plug this into the bottom one. Drag, uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, from the fog glow one into the top socket. Uh, I might be, hold on, yeah, hold on about that. Yeah, so change it to multiply and make sure the uh, um, link coming from the glare node is plugged into the top socket and the uh, chain coming from the blur node is going into the bottom socket. And then by adjusting this fact value, you can adjust the uh, intensity of the vignette. Obviously, the higher you put it, the more intense the vignette is. And we don't want it too overpowering, so I'm just going to leave it at 0.8. That's almost too little, actually. 0.86 or something like that. That's just a matter of taste. And now, as you can see, down here, if you hit Control Up, we have our final image. So now to save that image, you can just hit F3, and then go ahead and change, uh, you know, select a directory, whatever you want to save it as. And I'm just going to save this just for the sake of doing it. Um, graph to final. Okay, save the image as a PNG, and you're done. And this is it. So uh, I hope you guys had uh, fun watching this tutorial, and maybe you could uh, have learned something from it. 
Um, I put links below to all the textures that were used um, in the tutorial and also a link to the model to the blend file that has the uh, models and stuff in it that I showed you at the very first video um, that has some extra stuff in it like some more boards, some spray cans and um, some bricks they were all made using the same techniques that I have um, showed you how to um, do the trash can and the plywood so you can download that file it is rather large it's 63 megs I believe because I packaged all the textures into it um, but you can download it, open it up, and it's ready to render. And so you can check out the extra stuff that I've added in and uh, see if you can recreate it for yourself and, and find all my flaws in it. And so hopefully you have some fun tearing it apart. And I'll see you guys in the next video series, which I'm currently working on. And thanks for watching.